Hello and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy. England have announced their squad to take on the Czech Republic and Bulgaria on the 11th and the 14th of October. So in uh, just under a couple of weeks time or, or just over a week's time. And there's not really too many shocks. There's a, a an inclusion. I think he's going to make his debut if he came on. But I, there's not too many shocks in the England lineup. So this is the lineup that England have gone with. Gareth Southgate has picked Tom Heaton, Jordan Pickford, and Nick Pope are the goalkeepers. Um, not too many surprises in in that one. Uh, Jack Butland, um, he's no longer in it, and. Um, there's no, there's no, no, no real surprise there. Uh, defenders: Trent Alexander-Arnold, Ben, ben Chilwell, Joe Gomez, Michael Keane, who I wasn't keen on uh, when um, when we played against Kosovo on um, the last international break. Uh, Harry Maguire, Tyrone Mings, uh, I think he's yet to make his debut, but he was in the last squad. Danny Rose, uh, Fakayo Tomori is in the England squad. Uh, he's been in the under-21s. He was at Derby last season, now at Chelsea under Frank Lampard. And um, he's done decently well, so he's been included as well. And Kieran Trippi of Atletico Madrid. Midfielders, Ross Barkley, Fabian Delph, uh, Jordan Henderson, James Madison, Mason Mount, Declan Rice and Harry Winks are the midfielders. No real surprise in that. I'm still quite surprised that, um, that Fabian Delph is in the England squad. I don't think he is. Um, I don't think he's, he's good enough to be in the England squad. I don't think. I don't really rate Fabian Delph. Um, but at the end of the day, we haven't really got too many options, have we? Uh, forward, uh, Tammy Abraham is a, another uh, potential debutant. He has had a fantastic, fantastic start to the season. He scored seven times for Chelsea in the Premier League in as many games. Harry Kane, of, obviously, of Tottenham. Man Marcus Rashford of Manchester United. Jaden Sancho gets another call up from Borussia Dortmund. Obviously, he's done very, very well. Got a couple of goals against Kosovo in the uh, last timeout Raheem Sterling of course and Callum Wilson so that is the squad um, so Tammy Abraham and uh, Tamori are the new call-ups they are from both from Chelsea so clearly the, the, the Gareth Southgate thinks that um, uh, Frank Lampard is doing well as Chelsea manager bringing these young players through and I think he is a really big advocate of bringing players through and getting them giving them time and giving them chances he's done it with England and now he is seeing Frank Lampard do it at Chelsea and he's bringing those players in and I think he's really going to be pleased with that Fabian Delph come back into the squad. Um, Je Jesse Lingard is out the squad. Um, he's one, he's one of the players missing. Uh, Deli Ali is also uh, not involved. He's had some injuries. Uh, while um, Aaron Wambasaka and Kyle Walker also miss out. I'm not sure why Kyle Walker's constantly missing out. Joe Gomez is playing hardly any football for for, for Liverpool. And then there's uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Obviously, and I think there's another right back, Kieran Trippier. Can't understand, understand not having Kyle Walker. To be fair, maybe having him over uh, over Gomez. I'm not really sure why, why that is, but um, obviously Gareth Southgate must think he knows what he's doing. Um, so our last two games, our qualifiers so far. We're going through our qualifiers so far. Five 0 win over the Czech Republic in London. Then we went to Montenegro and won 5-1. I think there was some racist ch chanting. Uh, I think that was a game with the racist chanting. I think uh, Danny Rose, one of the people, and uh, Raheem Sterling reacted after a uh, after a goal. Uh, and then we had the Nations League, which was a 3-1 defeat to Netherlands after extra time. And then a 5-6 win on penalties against Switzerland. Uh, we started off the 7th of September was our first game. We beat Bulgaria 4-0. Came with a hat-trick and Sterling with the other goal. And that 5-3 um, win over Kosovo. And that was a very interesting game. Uh, Sterling got one. Uh, Kane got another. An own goal. And then Sancho got two in two minutes. And we looked very, very comfortable. But we conceded twice after half-time to make it 5-3. So it could have been more comfortable if we hadn't conceded those goals, of course. Next, we have Czech Republic and England. That is taking place in Prague in the Czech Republic on the 11th of October. That will be live on ITV for uh, British um, viewers. And then the 14th of October, we travel to Bulgaria, and that is in Sofia. 
So really, we should be aiming to win every game. Our, our, our games after that is uh, England and Montenegro as a home, uh, and then our final game is Kosovo away on the 17th of November. So we should be, we will be wrapped up after then. England are um, assured of at least the playoffs. Because um, they have 12 points uh, from their four games, they've won every game so far. I don't see any reason why we don't win every game. I think that if we beat the Czech Republic, then we should go on and win every game. Kosovo provided us with some problems, and maybe away from home we might struggle, but we should be able to get past them if we want to be serious about this tournament. If we want to get into the quarterfinals, the semi-finals, or maybe even the final, win the thing, then we need to be able to, to beat Kosovo away from home. The only team guaranteed of the playoffs, at least, is Kosovo. I assume that is through the um, through the Nations League. Um, so so far, four wins, nineteen goals scored, four conceded. Uh, goal difference of plus fifteen and twelve points. We are three points clear of uh, Czech Republic, who have played a game more, and that is who we take place. So they are our biggest rivals. Then Kosovo, and then Montenegro and Bulgaria on two points each. I just can't see them doing anything of of, of note really. Um, so we should be able to get past them. I think four four games that we should get past. And I think it's a it's always a good good marker to win every single game in your qualification group before you go to the tournament. I remember um, I think it was the 2014 World Cup we won every game and then we ended up going out in the group stages so um, it's, it doesn't it doesn't automatically mean you're going to do well in the tournament but if you struggle to qualify then you're probably going to struggle in the tournament. Overall the squad it's I'm happy with the squad. Um, I'm glad he's given young players a chance. Like Tammy Abraham and, and Tamori are both very young players. Um, he's given Sancho another n another run out. He's doing very well for England. He's now considered a starter. He's going to be an amazing talent. I hope James Madison gets time. Obviously, he's had an injury recently, but I'd like to see him get time. I'd like to see Mason Mount get time as well. Um, he seems quite keen on Ross Barkley, uh, though, so maybe he'll play. Um, Declan Rice is another solid player I'm, I'm i'm glad he changed his allegiance from england uh to england from ireland but overall there was a story um that um that's come out recently where abraham isn't sure whether he wants to play for england or for nigeria this is what he had to say. I love both nations, Abraham said. To be wanted by both nations. Clearly, I'm doing something right on the pitch of Chelsea. I just have to keep going. My time will come. I'm not sure. I haven't made my decision yet. I'm going to focus on club for now. I think that he must have chosen England um, because the thing is, if he comes on in any of these games, then he can't play for um, he can't play for Nigeria because if he plays in a competitive game, then I think that's curtains. So clearly, he must have chosen to play for England. Obviously, Nigeria have got some good players themselves. Um, but you know, if, if you had the option of both and you completely felt the same way about both, you'd probably play for England because they are the better nation and they've got more chance of of, of you know winning the World Cup, and that's like the the dream of a, of a very footballer. But that's just my opinion. I I don't think that. Um, I, I, I don't think that he would have been picked or would have included himself in the squad if he um, didn't feel like he wanted to play for England. So that clearly must have been an issue that he's sorted out. Um, but, um, you know, obviously, if he wants to play for Nigeria, then, then that's what he should do. But I, I, I assume he wants to play for England. He's played in the uh, under-21s, I think. He's, he's um, I think I'll just have a check here. I'm sure he played under-21s in the... Um, World Cup. So he's played a couple of times for England, it says on here. Um, two appearances in 2017. Must have just been in friendlies. Under 21, he's made 25 appearances. Um, under 19, 14 appearances. And uh, England, five appearances. So he has made starts in the international um, in international games. Um, but it's, it is a big uh, thing for him to be included in the senior team. So he has. Um, been called up for friendlies and he's made his debut in a nil nil draw against Germany. I do remember that. Um, he must have played against Brazil as well in the end, but he said he was in October that he was wasn't sure of his future. So that was only a few days ago. Um, but he hasn't played a competitive 
um, fixture. So that means he can he can swap if he wanted to. Um, but I, I think I think is a good sign that he's in the in in the England squad. Um, you know he's, he's he's done very well. I think he will have a future in the Premier League at least. And it'll be interesting to see how far he can go. But he has scored goals at Aston Villa. He scored goals at Bristol City. He struggled at um, at, at Swansea, but now he's scoring goals in the Premier League for Chelsea. So that is my thoughts on the England squad. Let me know your thoughts down below. Wearing an English in English shirt, it's got it's got a lion on um, as, as well. That's not because of the, because of this. It's just the first T-shirt I picked up today. Uh, thanks so much for watching. It anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the England squad. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Mike, and I will see you soon.